Here's the simple reason why Aussie weather apps can get the forecast wrong. Meteorologist Dr. Michael Barnes told Yahoo News the forecast on apps shouldn't be thought of as a guarantee of what will happen. Instead, it's simply one option. Barnes compared the result we see on weather apps to predicting a winner at the Melbourne Cup. He said, There might be an 80% chance of one horse winning because he's very strong and a past winner, but that doesn't discount the other five horses from winning. And that's what we're trying to do every single day with these forecasts. When creating predictions, meteorologists have to consider consider an overwhelming amount of information from radar, satellite and ground measurements before they conclude what the most likely outcomes are. Because there will always be small gaps in the information about current atmospheric conditions, small errors are inadvertently entered into the modelling, and this can interfere with the final forecast. Barnes said, The result is that the further out in time we predict, the more error-prone the forecast is. That's why if you look at the forecast today, what we see for the end of the week will change as we get closer to that day. Behind the scenes, meteorologists use a process called ensemble forecasting. By tweaking the data around the uncertainties in the information available, dozens of weather possibilities are produced. Barnes added, but that's not necessarily something you'll see on your favourite weather app. It's too much information for the average person to distill. We can't show them 100 different forecasts, so it's very difficult to communicate the full range of possibilities to people.